in the heart of Ventura, California, there's a little school called Ventura County Christian. The school building has been here for almost a hundred years now and is facing an abrupt demise. The school has been in a battle with the local district that is planning on tearing the building down, dispersing the inhabitants, and destroying a piece of Ventura's history. The district placed the school's faculty under a strict gag order to prevent word from getting out, which in turn made this a community issue. This school to me is kind of like a second home. I've been everywhere in this building. It's very important to me. I love the history behind it. It's been here about 100 years now, and it just is part of Ventura's heritage. If this building does get taken down, it's, it's gonna be so sad because it's, it's such a beautiful building, and I just hope that we can encourage the community to help us just continue to fight for this because it's a place for our children to just feel like loved and the education that they have here. It's just a great place, so I just hope that they could reconsider. I love when you walk in here, you see the handprints and you know, it's like you see all the writings here and you can almost like feel the love coming off the walls. And I love seeing that. I think throughout all this, it's been really devastating for everybody. Like I said, this place is like a home. So I can only imagine, you know, myself, I keep thinking about it. And it's feeling like having a home getting taken away. It's a really hard thing to deal with. And I know for everybody that I've talked to, they feel the exact same way. So having, you know, Ventura Unified School District trying to displace that has been a really hard thing to go through and hard thing to see and it's, it's stressful and it's saddening and it hurts. It's been really difficult. We've been battling this in court and ran out of money. We don't have the funds, we don't have the resources. If we were to go to trial, it would have cost more money. If we would have lost, we wouldn't have been able to stay till the end of the year. They were put in a really hard place to sign the settlement against their will. I think the gag order was put into place because they are afraid if this building gets marked as a historical site, they're not going to be able to move forward with selling it to these top-notch builders that will offer top price and knock this building down. And it's interesting in today's climate of trying to save the environment, it's very interesting to me how wasteful we are with tearing down usable structures that really hold so much history for a community and then replacing it with something new so often. And it is a community issue. And for the sake of Ventura's future and our children's future, and, and honestly, the future of California and the greater states of America, we need more people to be aware and get involved. If the community saw the need and understood the importance of what we are battling, they would stand up and take action. We were surprised how few people knew, so it's important to get the word out there, and it's part of the fabric of this neighborhood. The building definitely has a big impact, but personally, I feel like it's the people that are more important, because then if this building was taken down, then a lot of the people would be really hurt. That would definitely be a little heavy. I hope they don't tear the building down. That's one big thing, and that they use it for something good, and that it just keeps building into something better. BCCS and you know the staff and the administration has been a huge part of my children's growth, not just academically, but spiritually, and, and just as people, they're awesome individuals, and I'm grateful for that. If enough people understood their rights, came forward, stood up, and said something, there is power in numbers.